Hey guys, it's Scott again with another quick how-to video. I'm in <clears throat> front of my refrigerator right now and I'm having two issues. One, because I'm going to kind of do some exploratory. My ice maker back there seems to be, when I turn it on, it makes the evaporator motor fan, which is down there, it seems like it gets a lot of ice down there. I don't know, so I don't know if ice is dripping all the way down, or if the evaporator motor and fan blade are bad, or if the ice maker has a, a hole in it, I don't know. So I'm gonna do something here and just see what's going on. Because I actually had to turn the ice maker off to make this horrible noise stop down here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I have to take out course take this out the actual ice maker one second it just pops up and lifts out and then unplug it definitely don't forget to do that and so if you look inside I don't know if you can see I'll put it in there there's two brackets there that are holding the ice maker up and you use a quarter inch um nut driver to get them off i believe it's quarter inch unscrew them they're just and don't unscrew them all the way the ice maker's just hanging there so let me go in there see this is what i'm going to use and go back in here where those two nuts are and start unscrewing them okay i unscrewed them lefty loosey now this whole thing should just lift up maybe i didn't unscrew them all now you see how they just lift it off of there like that? That's all that it's holding on to. And now you have a plug back there we gotta disconnect. Okay, so I unplug that right there. I don't know if you can see, but there is a lot of ice build up inside this hole. And I think that's the the plug for this auger that pushes the ice through the hole. I might have to take that off and maybe uh, blow dry with heat, melt some of that ice. I don't know why that's there, but I'm going to check out the ice maker itself first. Okay, so okay, so I opened up this flap here. I did that screw, that screw, that one, and that one, just to look up under there and see what that fan was doing. There was not any ice around it, and then there wasn't any up in here. But there was a bunch of ice build up here real bad. So I'm thinking there might be a leak here. I couldn't find a leak in the ice tray. So if you notice, this chute is open. Well, I decided to use a little PVC pipe, a little drinking water one, right? And what I'm going to do is just slip this over that. I cut it. It was two and a half inches. So they can't leak over the top. I don't know if that's what it's doing. And now that can go right into the ice tray. Right. See how it'll sit right in that little bridge there? I just gotta plug it in and rehang the ice maker. And you'll see now that I rehung it and plugged it in. It's set perfectly in that bridge, and I can adjust this, pulling it down and up a little bit. I'm pull it up, pull it down just a little bit, right into that little box. I also forgot to show you, I had to take this shelf out. So this goes in that way, comes down, back into these holes, and then there's this little rubber-like spacer grommet. And that just kind of slips see the crack in it that kind of slips over this so that it locks the in place see so they can't move and i'll put the ice box back on i'll plug it back in and we're gonna see what happens if that fixes the problem no more video for this and guys if i forgot the part where i blew dry in there where that hole was where those wires were I did do that to melt that little bit of ice that was in there from it leaking I think I forgot to show that part I had the thing on 
Okay guys, it's a few days later and I've seen the fix the problem. As you can see, it's got plenty of ice. And I'm gonna show you, take this ice box out real quick. As you can see, there's no more ice buildup down here or around that plug in the back. And there's no water leaking. So I'm a, I believe that the leak was somewhere between that chute that the water comes down and into the ice maker. Right in between there somewhere was that leak, but putting that half inch PVC pipe over that water chute seemed to have covered the leak. And so now it's all going right into that little box and into the ice maker and working great. And no more leaks. See how easy that was? Hopefully it's that easy for you.